Hey guys, okay, I wanna talk about fear for a few minutes. Um, and I, mainly because I struggle with fear quite a bit and a lot of the people that I'm just in relationship with, whether that's in my work or just in life in general, I realized we really struggle with the same things. Like everyone has something they're afraid of. And one thing I realized is that we actually fear three things. The first one is loss. So we, you know, we're just afraid of losing something, whether that's like something really important to you, whether that's time or money or security or just your everyday understanding of the world, right? Like that's where we're at right now. We like, we have this fear of, of something that we're going to lose. And I feel like our job really in, in whatever industry we're in, whether we're a teacher or a blogger or a mom, or, you know, you're, you're in like the corporate business world, like we have to be in charge of the flip side of the gain, right? Of like really reminding people of like, what is also, what's the opportunity? Like, what can we gain from this? And, and that we're gaining momentum. Right? Like even if we have this fear of loss, we can still gain momentum in these small steps forward and really encourage one another in the process. So that's number one, people fear loss. Number two is they feel hardship, right? Like they, they're just afraid that it's gonna be hard, right? Like any new thing is, is going to be difficult. And um, when someone put it to me yesterday and I thought it was so good, is like overwhelm is actually a fear of hardship. And I think that's very accurate. Like we see all of these things ahead that all look really, really hard and we get overwhelmed. Um, like, and these are the common questions that like, it's like, what if I have to change my schedule? Like, what if I, what if I have to, you know, alternate my life to be able to have this happen? And like, it's just hard for a lot of people and just that hardship. And one thing I just want to remind you of you guys is if I know it's hard, but we can make it through. Like I, I know things are hard, but you can do this. And, um, and just keeping that like, so keep in mind that anything that you really hate grows in negativity. And like, we have to be able to honor the struggle and, and remind ourselves that like this time isn't wasted right now. And like any hard thing, it's not going to be wasted time that we're actually going to be able to find more creativity in our challenges. The third thing is disappointment, right? Like, what if it all doesn't work out? Like, what if I invest, I try, I work, and nothing? Um, and I think it's it's easy to not address disappointment and and to just like want to be positive all the time, which I think it's it's important to have a mindset of positivity, but also to talk about like like this is a fear that a lot of people have. Like, what if it just doesn't work out? What if I bust my butt and still nothing? And the thing I want to encourage you guys in is, is it's probably not going to work out the first time, right? But then you're going to pick yourself back up and you're going to try it again. And it might not be very good the second time, but it's going to be better than the first time. Like, and that is like, you guys are, you guys have the ability to take your disappointment and either it will stop you and it will make you bitter, right? Or you'll build up your competency and your ability to learn and you guys, I'm literally living proof of that. Like when I first started anything, I sucked. Like, but I kept trying and it got a little bit better and a little bit better. And so those three things, loss, hardship, disappointment, like it's okay to talk about and then it's okay to like really kind of work through it, you know, like talking about the flip side of those things and really addressing like, what am I fearing right now? Like in, and what's preventing me from moving forward? The other thing I wanted to talk about, you know, especially with like the high achievers out there, the people that like you guys really want to perform well and do everything perfectly. Like I want to talk about perfection for just a second. I always thought I was a perfectionist. I'm a one on the Enneagram, like 99%. But this definition of perfection just rocked me. And so here it is. A real perfectionist believes that a thing cannot be perfected until it's released. And that's so true, you guys. You can't just poof, have something perfect. Like we, we have to be willing to shove it out there and put it out there. And then that's when we have the opportunity to perfect something. That's when we can go, okay, let's take that feedback. Hmm, okay, let's tweak it a little bit, put it back out there. Tweak it a little bit, put it back out there. Like 
try, fail, apply. Like we have to continually be doing that. And like, that's life, right? Like that's in, that's what you're going to use with anything. So I hope that's encouraging to you guys. Like just know, like you can be that kind of a perfectionist and it's okay to have fear, but to also know like what we're fearing and then how we can, how we can move forward. I believe in you guys and I love you all. And I hope that this message was just what you needed to hear today. Bye.